Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about a very important yet frequently overlooked topic that is UV protection and the eye. If you'd like to learn more about this then please stay tuned. Over the years, I myself have heard several slogans relating to um, ways in which we can try and um, improve our adherence to wearing sunscreen when it comes to exposing ourselves to the sunshine and potential harmful UV rays. One of the most memorable ones I tend to recall, um, which was coined in Australia, was slip, slap, slop. Essentially, the main aim of this is to try and ensure that people wear sunscreen. But when it comes to eyes, how many of us frequently remember to wear sunglasses to try and prevent the harmful effects of UV radiation on the eye? In terms of radiation on the eye, UV is actually made up of several different components which consist of different wavelengths. So in terms of the different components of UV, um, we know that different parts of the UV spectrum selectively affect different parts of the eye. So for example, UVB and UVC tend to affect the outside of the eye, which is called the cornea, whereas UVA tends to affect the lens, which is just behind the cornea. Therefore, it goes without saying that over time, when we have prolonged and continuous exposure to UV, we expose ourselves to the potential risk of developing things such as cataracts inside the lens of the eye. We also expose ourselves to the potential of developing certain types of skin cancers which can be found on the eyelid. These include basal cell carcinomas and also squamous cell carcinomas right through to malignant melanomas which do have sunlight slash UV exposure as a very known and obvious um, potentially reducible risk factor. Moving on from that, then we can have other um, conditions that can be um, not only initiated but potentially exacerbated by the exposure to UV light. And these conditions include things such as pteridium and pinguecule. If you watch my video, which I will link above, about pteridium, you will be able to learn more about that in that video. Also, please do watch my video about cataracts where you can learn more about cataracts. There's also a very interesting condition that comes about when UV rays are reflected off things such as snow, sand or water and this is called snow blindness where essentially the front window of the eye, the cornea, becomes inflamed. Another harmful um, condition which can come about through exposure to UV slash sun is when individuals look directly into the sunlight without any eye protection um, and they can develop things such as solar maculopathy and in some cases that may be irreversible and when I mean irreversible, irreversible with respect to the loss of vision. What can you do to protect yourself? The key thing is to ensure that you invest in a good pair of UV protective sunglasses. They may be slightly on the pricey side but the original UV protecting sunglasses will be stamped and they will be endorsed for protecting you from UV, either UV 400 or UV 100% stamped. This will ensure that you give yourself the best opportunity of limiting your exposure to harmful UV. In addition to this, other simple measures will include obviously wearing sun lotion, UV protection, ensuring that you wear wide brimmed hats and in terms of general well-being, wearing longer clothing on the extremities of your limbs to try and protect yourself from the sun. Also be conscious about the times when sunlight is at its strongest and most powerful and take measures to protect yourself during these particular aspects of the day including midday to early afternoon. It is important to enjoy the great outdoors and everything that it has to offer but ensure that you do this in a safe way so that you will protect yourself not only in the short term but in the long term. Thank you so much for watching this short video about UV and how it can impact upon the eye. We've talked about some of the different components of UV, some of the conditions that can come about through exposure to UV and how individuals can protect themselves. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and please click the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest releases. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>